Japan Review. Hello and welcome to the very first video of my art YouTube channel. A little introduction, my name is Mashur Abir Karim, also known as Mac or Abir. I'm an artist and a martial artist and I also write poems. Now my passion for fountain pens started when I started doing art and I do a lot of line art and I use a lot of pens. So on my journey of buying and accumulating pens, I stumbled upon fountain pens. And as I started buying fountain pens, I just fell in love with them. And I have now over 50 fountain pens. And I don't know, I feel guilty that I spend a lot of money on them, but then again, you love what you love and you gotta you know if you work hard and earn money you gotta spend a benefit on the stuff you love and so here it goes I was a beginner once and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get into the hobby and spend so much money but if you're a beginner in Dhaka I can help you out in picking the best fun pens that'll get you started for the cheapest prices and I'll list out where you can find them for the cheapest price and everything. So stay tuned. And this list is going to be the top beginner fountain pens. I don't know how many there are. But as you can see, there are plenty of them to go around. So I'm going to get started soon. And I'll try to make it short. It's going to be from 50 to 500 taka. So let's get started. Alright, so here's the first batch of pens. Let's get started with a really well-known pen in Bangladesh, at least for beginners. This is the Dollar Fountain Pen. I think it's 707Ti or something like that. Uh, and I apologize for the background noise. There's construction going on beside uh, my house right now. So, anyway this is a piston filler you see a piston filler means you can open it up from the back you can open up the cap you put the nib inside your uh, ink bottle and then you spin this it acts like a syringe or a plumber and sucks up ink into this reservoir which is transparent and you can see the ink gushing around and it's fun you know it's a good cheap pen you can find this from anywhere from 50 taka to up to 150 taka and you know um i've seen american and British YouTubers, uh, Final Pen Reviewers review this and they get it for like about 10 to 18 dollars which is ironic because it's called the dollar Final Pen which should cost a dollar but you know uh, us people in Dhaka we're lucky we get it for 65 bucks I got it for 65 bucks anyway uh, you can find it in many colors this place is usually black or blue or red I mean dark blue or maroon not exactly red but I painted this gold myself because I like it gold and that's it. it it's a good writer it's great for beginners it has a broad nib for beginners I would suggest a fine or extra fine nib not a broad nib but for the price you can't really complain because it's a great pen it holds a lot of ink it looks nice pretty decent Next up, I got this Parker Vector uh, replica. This is a Chinese replica. And I got this for like 150 bucks. And the nib is pretty nice on this. Let me get some focus on it. It's like this really nice small nib. And it writes pretty smooth. It works it's great for beginners it's a metal body so you can just throw it around it doesn't matter you can do whatever just don't drop it on the nib or it's gonna 
break so yeah it's a metal pen it's slim low-key looks nice you know that's all it is these are montex pens i love the design the marble design on the body looks pretty decent what i hate is the chrome plating over here on the cap looks kind of tacky and doesn't look good but i guess it is what it is uh for a hundred bucks it's a bang for a buck it has a uh two-tone nib golden chrome the nibs are fine and they write pretty smoothly actually they don't give you a lot of feedback they're a hundred taka you can in fact they come with a converter but you can use them as eyedroppers which means you can fill this part up with ink since it's plastic it won't rust and you can have the whole reservoir full of ink and it's gonna last you a very long time it's honestly a workhorse pen it's pretty decent the cap is metal the body is hard resin so it won't crack or anything easily it's pretty nice but these are rare to find i just found two and i just got them right away because i don't see a lot of these in dhaka see a lot of people will tell you that go for the pilot v pen or go for something like uh what is that called a luxor luxor students fountain pen uh something like this wait let me just get it yeah like this this is a piece of shit fountain pen to be honest luxor formules it's oh and by the way this is uh gold spray paint that i got while painting this on this is not nail polish just in case you thought it was not that it matters it's 2019 people get with the times anyway uh this is a piece of shit fountain pen so is the pilot v pen and i do not at all indoors beginners going for these pens because they just suck they're not a part of the fountain pen experience if you just get this 65 taka fountain pen you get the whole experience you can fill it up with your own ink and you can see the ink you can you know it's an experience people use fountain pen because it's a fun experience it's a good writing experience it's supposed to be smooth you can use your own inks and stuff anyway i'm ranting just don't go for those stupid pens use these that you can fill up yourself okay so this part is the jinhao 992 and the jinhao 991 i have this jinhao 991 right here it is transparent frosted uh it writes pre 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 decent it's amazingly smooth for such a cheap pounder fountain pen i got it for 200 bucks 200 taka from new market you can get it yourself for 200 taka just you just need to bargain a bit because they sell for up to 400 taka but i got it from 200 you can too i'm not special or anything and you can in fact get the cartridge out and i drop her this like so uh if you get the cartridge out and if you fill this up with ink it's it's gonna look so nice in the frosted body the ink slushing around is gonna look amazing and these are the 992s i absolutely love the 992s as you can see by how many i have uh also apologize for my mic uh, anyway these are amazing pens all right they look classy they are classy you cannot go wrong with these I got it from for 200 each all right you can get it for cheaper or if you both buy them directly from China 
uh, you can go to daraz.com you, know, you can bulk buy them from China you can get six for 850 or something like that since daraz.com is now under alibaba.com they bought daraz out and you can get a lot of Chinese products that oh man this noise sucks I'm so sorry for the background noise you can get a lot of Chinese products that uh, are cheap that you don't need to pay any shipping price for they ship to you for free and it's amazing you can get six of these for 850 or you can buy one of these for 200 from new market but not of all of us can go to new market all the time so i suggest you go to bdpens.com or their facebook site which is bdpens they are an amazing company of found founded by fountain pen lovers and they're very passionate and very uh, treat their customers very well they have amazing service you can buy it for them from them they have a lot of quality control so they'll make sure you get the perfect pen and the pen that works and doesn't have any problems in it uh, you can get it from them for 350 with added delivery charge of course but you know it's it's about the experience it's about the customer care they put in a lot of effort in their service so you know it's worth it buying from them or you can just go to new market and pick one up for 200 it's up to you these are absolutely amazing medium nibs they write absolutely amazing all of them are extra 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 smooth at least I never had any problems with them and you can make these uh, eyedroppers by the way if you get the transparent one which I highly highly suggest that you do because it's absolutely amazing you can see everything inside it so I suggest you get the transparent one and you make it uh, you know you can turn it into a moon man m2 if you want because you know it's fully clear the plastic might crack but it, it doesn't if you take care of it okay so these are the year in 358s or you can get a wing sung version of these uh from bd pens i got these for 200 bucks each uh, I think the Wingsome one costs a bit more, but I think the Wingsome ones are totally worth it because Wingsome has better quality than Yirin. But the thing is, these are extra fine fountain pens, which I suggest for beginners. And for 200 Taka, it's really, really, really worth it. It has a transparent feed that looks like this when you don't ink it. Uh, the feed will show up the show the color of the ink that you fill it up with It has a gold plated nib extra fine and It's just amazing It's a great writer All right It does reverse right and you can get a tiny bit of line variation out of this it's just a great pen extra fine pen nibs are really amazing for cheap paper you can use it on anything and usually in Bangladesh it's really hard to find good paper for fountain pens because all the papers are extra cheap and absorbent so extra fine nibs are the way to go and you can eyedropper these too. Just use a bit of silicone grease, or I suggest if you don't have silicone grease available, get a bit of petroleum jelly that you put on your lips, add it on the <coughs> threads, and you can seal them that way. Okay, so these two 
are full metal hooded nib fountain pens. This is the Jinhao 15. I love the shape of this. I love the design. It's a hooded nib. It's extremely smooth for a hooded nib and it has a fine point. I don't have this inked up but it's so 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 fucking smooth. And you, it has a nice way of posting. You can post the cap. It goes into the body right here. It looks like this. It's really nice. It costs only 350 I suggest you pick this up. I highly suggest it. It's amazing for a fine pen. This is Jinzu 620. It's a matte finish metallic body. It has almost the same uh, nib as the Jinhao 15. It writes absolutely smooth. It's amazing how smooth it is for a hooded nib. I usually hate hooded nib fountain pens, but these are the only ones I have. And it's absolutely incredible. Now moving on to these. These are the Yuren 312. They have a metallic finish, purple and red. Metal body, rubberized plastic feed, I mean cap, my bad. This has a different type of nib right here. It's extra fine, but it's a bit bent, like a falcon nib would be, but it doesn't flex, right? but it's extra fine it's really 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 smooth and the build quality is amazing 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 you can smash this around throw it around nothing will happen to this it's a workhorse it cost me like 400 taka it holds a bit a lot of ink because it has a 1.5 ml cartridge i mean converter i think and I'm sorry for smashing my table, but it's just so great. You can do whatever you want with it. You can throw it in your pocket and just be on your way. Great for beginners. 400 taka. Get it. Crocodile. 2021. Great fountain pen. Gold plated nib. It cost me 500 taka. You can also get this from Book Palace, by the way. All of the ones I was talking about so far, you can get most of them from Newmarket, unless I suggested otherwise. And like the ones I stated, you can get from BD Pens. You can, but these aren't available on BD Pens. You can get them from Newmarket or Book Palace. I mean, this one is available in Book Palace, but I suggest you get it from Newmarket. Uh, so you can bargain a bit because Book Palace has fixed price. This has a medium nib and it's super, super smooth. Has some line variation, metal, classy, black and gold, absolutely amazing. Comes with a converter and everything. You can't go wrong with this. Now for some honorable mentions that I got for under 500 but that they actually cost more than 500 and I just got lucky I guess so here they are these are Jin House two of them this one has a very springy clip so does this I got them both in full chrome finish because it just looks so nice in the full chrome and this one is the Jin Hao 126 this one is the Jin Hao 156 and they're both absolutely amazing they have the same sort of nibs all the Jin Hao's have the same nibs I guess I mean the size 5 nibs all of them are the same uh, like in the 992s and these so you can already guess they write amazingly and they go from about 450 up to even 800 
but I got them for $3.50 each, so I guess I got a good deal. They're full metal, of course. This Bauer, I don't know the model of this one, but it goes for like, uh, I don't know, like... I really liked the nib and the feed. The feed has this little heart on it. I don't know if you can see it right there. So I just thought it was, you know, kind of nice. And of course the rhinestone looks fancy. I got it up for like 300 taka. It goes up to like 600, 650. You can find all of these in new market. This uh starwalk uh mont blanc starwalker clone i don't know which brand this is but it's actually available in a lot of stores in new market you can't this this writes absolutely amazingly it's like butter it's absolutely fucking amazing it's so smooth it has a medium nib and this is great I got for 500 they even sell these for up to 1000 taka but I got cheap I hope you can too I would suggest getting it if you can for 500 I would suggest getting it if you can for 700 it's that good this this is called uh, Hua Shi Lai it's Chinese but the pattern is nice I guess I wish this was chrome instead of gold that would look nicer but the nib on this one the nib is so amazing it's super smooth it has a broad nib and it's just buttery smooth it's like I'm gliding my pen over I don't know ice is that so I got for 300 taka if you can get it for up to 500 I suggest you get it over that I don't know it's up to you but for me I would get it if even if it was 700 because it's that good but of course I didn't know before getting it that it was that good this is uh, I don't know what this is. This is a Jin Hao Lamy All Star replica clone. Pretty good. Comes with a Jin Hao nib. I changed up the nib to a Bauer nib, two tone, which is, I guess, smoother for me. But the Jin Hao nib isn't bad either. And this is great. This is metal. This is plastic. You can see into uh the converter and see if you have ink left uh sort of acts as an ink window and that's pretty great and yeah nothing much to it this goes up to 700 or 800 i got it for like 350 taka so that's great it's metal you can throw it around nothing's gonna happen lotus a0051 sorry 81 amazing metal pen posts on the back seamlessly two-tone nib medium extremely smooth comes with a great converter uh, this goes up to 750 I got it for 350 I suggest you bargain for this and get it down to 500 and even in five at 500 is absolutely worth it the design is great the the build quality is amazing the heft to it is amazing it looks classy and it writes like a charm and last but not least the Jin Hao X450 I got this one for 450 bucks these uh, usually cost up to a thousand taka but I got it for 450 because I knew the retailer and he gave me a deal on it I got this airmail nib on it 
which is extra fine and I love it it's a size 6 nib but it of course doesn't come with this nib it comes with a different kind of nib which is a Jin House size 6 uh, wait let me show you this is an ivory white one I have has the Jin House size 6 nib medium right again like butter I don't want to keep repeating myself Jin Hao nibs work for me all right they they're pretty damn good if you know how to use one properly they they're amazing there's absolutely no feedback no noise whatsoever it writes super smooth but I wanted a Jin Hao in an extra fine nib so I just switch it to this nib and I got for 450 I suggest that you try to get it for a good deal if you can pick it up and if you can't get a good deal out of it uh, I suggest don't get it for 1k get it for 800 from BD pens go to their Facebook page they have it listed there and they have amazing quality control they'll check it, everything before giving it to you so you can rest assured that these Chinese fountain pens won't give up on you halfway or won't have a bad start you'll have a great experience if you get it checked but of course I got lucky with them and you know not everyone can get lucky but you can test your luck it's up to you Anyway, I hope this video helped. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post more fun pin videos and suggest in the comments down below <clears throat> what else you want to see about fun pens. I'm going to do a lot of art videos too, of course. So if you want to stick around for that, subscribe, hit the bell icon and leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.